Istanbul, an innovative initiative is striving to give Syrian refugees a little bit of personal agency by encouraging them to get creative. Drop earrings, not bombs, are handmade earrings by Syrian refugees who earn money for each pair made. Miranda Atty reports. The colours are bright, the shapes are bold, but it's the hand sewing that are the most remarkable things about this jewellery project. The participants in Drop Earrings Not Bombs are all Syrian refugees. They manage to flee to Turkey, but some of them do still have family and friends in Syria. Some of the women have agreed to tell us their stories, but they've asked us not to reveal their identities. I'm meeting with Alparslan Gurubuz, one of the organisers of the project, in the Fati district of Istanbul. The building is the home of Small Projects Istanbul, a volunteer-run organisation that focuses on education and livelihood support. The Drop Earrings Not Bombs initiative teaches some of the women how to make the distinctive drop earrings. So they're constantly being challenged whether we're teaching them a new way of stringing the earrings, or perhaps later on we might include beads in the earrings, or changing the shape from drops to something else. Uh, there's always something new. And even working with colors can be a form of therapy. So I think it not only addresses their social, but even perhaps their psychological health. The women are paid for the earrings they make. Many of them, like Zara, who fled Aleppo a year ago, had no other options of earning money, until now. We started to work here in Bracelet. We started in Bracelet. Then we started to do uh, rings, silver ring, uh, rings, yes. And then we uh, worked in earrings. And tell us about the earrings. What do you do? How do you make them? The first time will be difficult, but uh, step by step, I used to that. Uh, in the first time, it take one, it take one hours, one half hours, only one in the first time. But uh, now, it take it take uh, three minutes. Yes. Yes. Because I used to. Eat. It's not just women, though. Kateba makes the intricate gold and silver frames for the earrings. He's been here for a year, coming from Damascus, via Aleppo, crossing the border at Kilis, and from there, travelling to Istanbul. And for the refugees, normally when they come to another country, they're faced with a lot of restrictions, and we wanted to give them opportunities. Of course, income is one of the most important things to open doors for them. So this was our priority when we came here. Of course, at the same time, we found that there were other benefits. For example, by teaching them uh, how to make the earrings and teaching them also quality control, we raised their craftsmanship to a professional level. And now each of our participants knows that they are able to sell the work that they are doing. So this is a type of validation for them. For Syrians like Hariye Mila Hassan, this project has benefits beyond financial independence. What does it mean to you to have this kind of community of, of people around you here? The people are so nice in here. You get a circle of friends, which is also nice. We were alone here because we came from Syria. Now we've made friends here and we're, we're working here and we're making money. and the others in the team may have organized the project, but it's important to them that Drop Earrings Not Bombs is a sustainable business, and the long-term plan is to eventually hand over the project to be run by the Syrians themselves. Miranda Atti, TRT World, Istanbul.